Hello everybody, happy new year. Um, this is going to be not the first recorded vlog <laughs> of the new year, but um, I'm finishing, ed I just finished it. <laughs> I just finished editing this vlog that you're about to watch. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I am a couple of vlogs behind from the new year, but anyways, yeah, I just wanted to tune in, say happy new year. Hope you guys had a good new year and I hope you guys have a good new year. Um, and yeah, so enjoy. Say hi, Landon. <laughs> All right, guys, enjoy the vlog. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today's Cyber Monday. Um, we're gonna go thrifting, grab some coffee maybe, and run some errands. Um, what'd you say? Oh, it's not morning. <laughs> yeah, it's not morning, it's afternoon. Uh, so good afternoon, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for everybody who ordered um, things over the weekend. Um, I'm just now packing them off, and I'm gonna drop them off if the post office is open. I don't know if the post office is open today, but hey. Landon says hi. Say hi. Yeah, I got a ton of packages, about six orders going out, so. Thrift store! Oh, nothing too crazy. Single stitch Converse, like Raglan, baseball tee, three quarter tee, little single stitch, day at the races, kick it up for heart, single stitch, and this like 70s vest. Pretty much everything I found so far, but let's keep looking. Found two more things on this one. Little vintage long sleeve, don't find much of these, so I thought the graphics was kinda cool. And then Bethany found this 80s single stitch America tee, so figured it would be good to get this. Hey guys, well, didn't find much. Um, got this cool little, this cool blanket here. A little Navajo print blanket. Um, that's probably my favorite thing. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see you guys. Nighttime Goodwill! Literally the only thing I found. Vintage Christian Dior, like velour. Track suit, track jacket. <laughs> All right, guys, um, this is literally the only other piece I found. This women's 70s top. Got the town zip on the back. It's like polyester material. Really, really cool pattern. Morning, everybody. Today is Friday. Um, we've already started our day, to be honest. Uh, we were kind of ran out the door and went to this estate sale. It's about half an hour away from home. Fortunately, I only got one thing I came for. Um, but I have to mention, there was this kid at this estate sale who just yeah, so pretentious. Like literally, so felt so pretentious. Like too cool for school kind of kid. And I, I literally just asked him. I said, "Did you find anything cool?" And he was kind of just like, eh, "Okay." I was like, "Dude, like." Seriously, why are there people like that here? Like, it's it it's really bothers me. But anyway, um, like I said, I really didn't find much clothing, but everything clothing wise was like a dollar, so super good deal. Um, I did get um this one quilt blanket that I wanted. Um, surprisingly, it was really cheap, like very very affordable for a quilt. Um, and just a bunch of other like knickknacks that we found. But I'll show you guys really quickly here. First off, <laughs> this Kmart cart. So cool. Uh, I gotta find a place for this. Maybe in like the showroom, maybe in the office somewhere. Really, really cool. And uh, as you can see, three bucks, dude. Can't complain there. Um, we bought a thing for turkey, even though Thanksgiving is over. But Bethany wanted it because it's a good deal. We found these like made in USA leather boots for the ladies, size six and a half, if you guys are interested. Bethany also found this really cool like vintage. I wanna say this is like, ah, this is 50s, maybe 60s, 70s. Um, it's definitely old uh, leather purse as you can see the like embossed details super super. Oh my gosh I just noticed that's like a deer right here. You guys can see it's a deer. Bethany wanted this little quilt jacket This is the quilt. I wanted I love this I think this is gonna be great for a flat lay or a lay flat you guys already know And shout out to the estate sale people. They were really cool. They gave us like literally nice tote bags for this Um, you can see some hunting stuff here. Bethany wanted this big hug mug to add to our little mug collection. Mason jars, you guys already know. Um, and then I found a couple other things. Yeah, I found a pair of coveralls, which is buried in there. And I wanna say that might be it in a jacket somewhere. So 
yeah. Anyways, uh, Bethany's got work in like an hour or so. We have to leave. So I'll be dropping her off, maybe stopping at the Salvation Army by her work, then possibly going to another state sale after that with her and Landon. We'll see what else the day entails. But um, yeah, literally just please, if you're in the reselling community, please don't be mean. Like, just be nice. Like, I, I, it's called networking. <laughs> it's called networking, according to Bethany. <laughs> But, like, seriously, like, I just want to see cool stuff. Like, even if I, yeah, like, sure, I wish I'd be the person to grab it. But, like, if you have something cool, like, just, just, like, let me see it, maybe. Like, I don't know if that's mean of me or, like, too much of me to ask. But, anyways, don't be mean. I got that pit pit of powder. I think your world's gonna settle. Yeah. When we get down to Okay, so this estate sale was pretty crazy. Um, they have a lot of clothing here, a lot of kids clothing here, as you can see. I'm pretty sure this is like adult small. And yeah, as you can see, we're digging through these clothing. Wasn't really expecting to find too much. Found a couple of cool bags. This tote bag, super cool. <laughs> There's Landon's finger. Um, this is probably the coolest bag, 40s cool bag. Um, I was honestly shocked to find that still sitting there. And here we have a bassinet full of more kids clothing and then as you can see, this room, pretty sure I told Bethany here to split up, <laughs> to divide and conquer. Um, we found this Marco Millennium t-shirt, which um, we, I didn't buy, but it's funny because my friend actually ended up giving it to me because he bought it at the same sale. And uh, trying to find some good clothing here on the floor. As you can see, there's literally a ton of stuff here, and it's crazy. Uh, found this cool like 60s Puritan wool flannel. Um, this closet here was pretty much a dud. I mean, I found this like 70s jacket. Um, I believe that one's the 70s. We found an OG 107. Those are always good. Um, not that this stuff is bad. I was just kind of like, hoping to find a lot older, cooler stuff. And this jacket, didn't know if it was old or not. Looked old. And we have this, like, 70s security jacket also. So that one was cool. Just a bunch of nylon jackets. Nothing crazy. Um, really didn't find any t-shirts. And as you can see, some more nylon satin bomber jackets. There were two of these. I only picked up one because they were literally the same. And I figured maybe someone else. And this is the biggest tragedy ever. We found that boot there. And uh, we could not find the other pair. We literally searched this whole room. Cool tag. Um, this stuff was, yeah, no, okay. <laughs> this stuff was in the garage. I was apron, found these crates, grabbed one only for five bucks. Couldn't complain. That's going down the showroom, you already know. And um, I'm glad I went back out to look at the garage because you guys can see here we have these 50s um, OG 107s with the general zip. These are going to be for Landon, nice and thrashed, faded, literally in the costume bin, lab like a bin labeled costume. And then we found these like 40s or 50s BVD um, thermal underwear. That was kind of funny. I bought that for Bethany. She didn't love it. <laughs> And uh, we got this like 50s or 60s like uh, ringer style jersey tee. I don't know, rib tee, whatever. All right, you guys, another estate sale. Uh, found some really good stuff. Favorite thing I'm about to show you guys first, but uh, yeah, definitely better than expected. This vintage military tote bag. I don't even know how old this is. Somebody help me out, but this one's not for sale. Everything else, probably. We got a conductor hat for Landon, hat, bunch of clothes for Landon. Um, Cute little tote bag. Got some aprons. I know people like this, including myself. Some old vintage games, some books for Landon. Oh, the striped thing is right here, babe. Uh, OG 107 fatigue shirts. And I also found a pair of like 50s OG 107s for Landon, literally baby size. General zipper, probably the, uh, I guess not the oldest pair of OG 107s I have because I have the World War II HBTs. But anyways, for Landon, super excited because he can actually match me. So, okay, onward. Where are we? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, grabbing food real quick. And uh, one of our favorite like Thai Vietnamese restaurants. You can literally get a Pad Thai and a pho. So best of both worlds, but. I left in your bed. You don't have to. Alright guys, we are running into a new thrift for half off, fill a bag day. So uh, let's see if we can find something. We didn't really find anything last time, so. So this 
this vintage. I haven't found much, but I found this like tactical vest. And then right here, we have a Vancouver Canada, it's like an 80s. We got two of those, but if I grab one, I might only grab one. All right guys, I didn't end up buying any of that stuff that I showed you. Just didn't love it, and uh, yeah, I already spent enough today, I guess, so. We'll see you guys in a couple of days when I show you guys the recap. Good morning, everybody. Um, today, I am potentially, well, I guess I'm meeting with this lady to potentially do a little buyout from her. She has a bunch of women's vintage clothing, which I, I fully don't know a lot about women's vintage clothing. So if you guys have any tips on how to learn about women's vintage clothing, please let me know. Um, there are only a couple things I know about women's vintage clothing, but that's stuff I've learned about men's vintage clothing, pretty much. Yeah, we'll see if she has anything cool. Um, I So if you guys don't know, I do sell women's vintage clothing. It's just very uh, seldom that I post that kind of stuff. Um, but I do have a good amount of women's vintage clothing in the basement in a bin that I still have to like kind of sort through again. But if you guys are interested in anything, um, I will try in my best to show you guys any of the cooler stuff or the things I like the most or if I even buy anything really. But if you guys are a women's reseller, like you sell resell <laughs> women's clothing, please let me know. Yeah, anyways, um, to be honest, I, I'm a little nervous just because this is my first time doing like a buyout and I really don't know what I'm looking at. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste this lady's time pretty much. So hopefully I can at least buy a couple things from her and yeah, we'll see how it goes. So as you can see here, this is all the stuff that she had. She really didn't have like too, too much, maybe like 15 to 20 pieces. Um, but these ones are kind of my favorite ones. And these were the ones I was looking to buy. Like but so she actually was not looking to sell like <laughs> pieces individually. See, she just wanted to sell all is a lot. Oh. Most of it was from the 70s um, from her grandma. She yeah, literally wore weird. this stuff. She told me um, when she was growing up. So... Yeah, if you guys are interested, let me know. All right, y'all, we made it back, but fortunately, did not buy anything from this lady. She did not want to separate anything, which is fine. Um, and I just didn't know if, uh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry about that. Anyways, I was saying, I just, I didn't know if I'd be able to make my money back from that lot that she was selling pretty much. I don't think it was a ridiculous amount um of money for like i don't think it was a crazy ask for what she was asking for what she had but also i'm not sure because i just don't know about a lot of women's clothing a lot of it was like 70s and older um there was a couple like 90s like modern pieces but overall it would have been like 15 dollars a piece which um, is a little steep for me personally like i said if you guys are interested or if you're like a women's reseller please let me know i will send you pictures and videos of stuff um, and, uh, maybe we can still help her out. My ultimate goal is to help her get rid of this stuff. She told me it's from her grandma. It's been sitting around from like for 10 years. She's had a hard time getting rid of it in the sense of like, it's too sentimental, like too much sentimental value for her. But I, I told her, I want to help her out if this is something she really wants to get rid of. So, um, I'm going to reach out to a couple people and, uh, we'll see what happens. But Anyways, I still have to show you guys everything from the estate sale, so maybe I'll do that really quick. Um, so I'm going to do my best to try and show you guys everything that we got this estate sale, the two estate sales that we went to yesterday. And uh, yeah, it, I'm going to try and go as quick as possible because uh, there's a lot of stuff. Here's everything that we got, uh, minus a couple things. There's one thing, the best thing, my favorite thing. Um, I'm currently cleaning, but I will bring it down here in a second. Let's see what we got. Okay, so starting off at the first... Um, okay, actually not the first estate sale, but that little consignment shop, we got a pair of vintage, uh, 557s. Love these. These are like a relaxed baggy boot cut type of fit. Felt like I just had to buy something at that consignment store that we went to, but that's the first thing. And then at the first estate sale really didn't find too, too much, but you know me, I had to pick something up clothing wise. So we got this vintage liner. This one's probably, I don't know, 70s, could be older, could be newer, who knows, but we got this highlighter orange, or the hunter orange, whatever you want to call it, liner jacket. We got some like 40s, 50, 40s or 50s uh, hunting pants here. Wish this one had a matching jacket, but uh, doesn't. 
And I kind of wish these fit me, to be honest, because I'd wear these in the winter. They don't fit me, but love the plaid pattern here. And it's on the uh, radio. Is that a radio zipper? How, somebody. Is that a radio zipper? I don't know. Radio zipper. What's the tag here? The tag is something sportswear, if I can find it. Monterey Club sportswear. There's the tag. You guys know I love picking up hunting stuff, too, even though I don't hunt personally. Uh, and then we have this vintage big... Big Ben coveralls. Love the Big Ben tag. This is literally like the second thing I picked up Big Ben this week, um, which I have to show you guys the jacket I picked up actually off Marketplace. Um, I believe it's 70s. I think this is 70s. This one actually, this, yeah, this could be 70s, but it does have a care instructions, which usually care instructions, you guys already know, started in the 70s. But I believe, if correct me if I'm wrong, but I think care instructions also are on uh, older garments. And it would make sense that this had care instructions because it is technically like a uniform type clothing. And then the, my favorite thing I picked up at that estate sale is this quilt. I'm excited for this one to be the new background probably of some pickups. And uh, yeah, this is the estate sale where there was the pretentious reseller guy that I ran into. I literally just asked him like, you find anything cool? And he kind of just like shrugged me off. Like, and I was just like, okay, like fine, whatever. Like don't be, don't be a decent human being. <laughs> also, I got this automotive cart. This thing, so cool. I've been wanting one of these. Only paid $3 for this thing from Kmart. So I got to find a really cool place for this. Um, somewhere somehow um, I kind of want to hang it on the wall looks really cool but yeah that's the type of like nerdy antique stuff that I like okay so starting off with the second estate sale we got oh shoot actually these are from the first estate sale too these boots size six and a half women's if you guys want them made in the USA nice color nice still very nice condition you can kind of see the bottom there these are super cool that's from the first estate sale actually now that I Think about it. So now everything that we got at this uh, second estate sale, uh, we got this vintage like bandana. This one's probably gonna be for me. Been wearing bandanas more. Um, this is hilarious because I thought Bethany put this in here. They're these giant shorts. I don't know, maybe I thought she wanted it for like a project. She's pregnant, so maybe she thought she could fit these. But yeah, these are way too big, first off. And uh, yeah, so I paid for these shorts that nobody really wanted. Got a ton of kids clothes here. We got this, just nice little striped shirt. We got this vintage Marines here. This is like a 70s health text, little like football um, striped shirt. This jacket here, which I believe is probably like 50s or 60s, maybe 70s. 70s shirt, love this one, uh, maybe I don't know, maybe that might be like 80s. I don't know, there's no tag or anything on that one. 80s Raglan uh, St. Lawrence, which is, was down the, literally down the street from my childhood home. 70s Western Vest. We have these, this is probably some of my favorite stuff here. We have these 70s uh, like wide leg pants. Um, I believe, yeah, they're from the 70s. I love the, uh, like the shell snaps on these. This is so cool. Love this pair and then to go I mean, maybe to go with that, we have this awesome 70s little like Western denim shirt. Nice thick material. Octagon House was across the street from our old house in Washington. Uh, I don't even know why I had this, but the softball little jersey. Yeah, I guess I didn't know that was in there either until just now. Uh, I bought Landon this matching, uh, what do you call it, conductor hat. Okay, phew, I thought I lost these. This is probably one of my favorite pieces. This 50s OG 107s for Landon when he gets a little bigger. Um, these are beautiful. It does have a, some distressing on the knee here, but that can be fixed. And it is on the 50s like general zipper. Um, yeah, so that's... Super, super cool, glad I found those. This was literally in a costume box, um, which I guess makes sense. And then, this is some of the bigger clothing. 91 Desert Storm single stitch t-shirt on the Screen Stars tag, there you go. Another one, this one, I like this one better just cause the graphics cooler. Um, and then we have this cool little like jersey type, uh, like ribbed shirt. I don't know, this is maybe like 60s, maybe 50s. Um, it's on the United tag. Um, if you guys know the date of that, please let me know. My battery's about to die, so I'm trying to do this really quick. And then this is hilarious. We got these long johns here. Literally from like the 30s or 40s is gonna be my guess, maybe 50s. This was hilarious. Um, it has a little butt flap. 
So that's funny. Uh, we got an 80s Holloway jacket here. This one, St. Lawrence, just love picking up these type of bomber jackets. This like 70s, this is a security guard jacket. This is like probably like a 60s or 70s, maybe 50s Puritan like wool shirt. I really like the pattern on this one. Maybe it'll fit me, maybe it won't. Don't love wool, you guys already know. 60s OG 107 fatigue shirt. Have a bunch of those. And then we have this like 70s jacket. Nice little like plaid-ish lining, whatever this pattern is called. That's everything for the clothing. And then we did get a couple bags here. This bag was from the first estate sale. I believe this leather bag is from like the 50s. Um, judging by like the zipper, the hardware, the leather, um, it does have like the, I can't even show you guys, but it's really dark. But if you can see, it's like embossed. It's got like embossed deer right here. I don't know, it's really dark, but uh, there you go. A little embossed on here. Really nice, Bethany's probably gonna keep this one, but uh, make an offer anyway. Um, I'm sure if you guys make a good enough offer, she'll be okay with it. Vintage tote, and then this bag. I just, I couldn't not get this bag. This bag is a Bigfoot like, Converse type bag, but it's a backpack. It's literally a backpack. And yeah, it's from, I want to say from like the seventies, maybe older. Um, so yeah, definitely unique little piece here. And then we have this crate. You guys know, love picking up crates, super cool. And then there is one more thing, my absolute favorite thing, probably my favorite pickup, my favorite find for the day. I'm going to grab it and I will show you guys. So my absolute favorite find, honestly, probably in a while at an estate sale, is this 30s or 40s cool heavy duty tote bag. This thing is so beautiful. It is, it's darker than it should be because I'm trying to wash it and I did do a couple of rinses couple soaks um, because you guys already know I'm going to use this thing. It is a look, has a bunch of holes here that need to be patched up. But this thing is absolutely beautiful and literally like my favorite thing that I found in a while. So yeah, there's that. I mean, just look at this thing. I love the rivets. Just love the stencil here. So, so beautiful. I was literally so stoked to find this at the estate sale. Literally my favorite thing ever. Um, so yeah, sick. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Um, if you guys like, see anything that you like minus this bag <laughs> um, and a couple, maybe a couple of the other things, um, the kids clothing obviously probably won't be for sale, but uh, yeah, let me know. Follow me, my vintage page at shop just some things. Check me out on Instagram on Depop. You guys already know. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys in the next video. Taking no words back Silence would suffice for you Well, I'm leading my honesty I can't watch the only way you win by making me cry While getting your defenses up inside of your mind